Hey guys, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing. This is a new product from Celestron and they've come out with a power controller for powering your gear and your dew heaters and, and whatnot. So this is a nice little unit uh, which you might be interested in. Now you don't have to have a Celestron mount or Celestron products in order to use this. This power controller will work for you no matter what equipment you're using. So for me, I've got a Skywatcher EQ6 mount, and I've also got um, a QHY camera that I'm powering, and a filter wheel, uh, dew heaters, um, uh, electronic uh, focuser, and so forth. Um, those are all from different manufacturers, um, not Celestron, so this power controller will work nicely with anything, any type, any brand of equipment, any make of equipment that you have. Now, um, these aren't released just yet. I think they're coming. Um, I've got one of the few that are actually out in advance. Uh, I believe the original time frame for their release was um, in March of 2022, but it looks like Celestron may be bumping that up a bit. Um, so we're starting to see some emerging in the marketplace uh, end of January here, but more are definitely coming February, I'm told. So uh, they will be available. You can pre-order them now though, if you're interested. And I've put links in the description of this video so that you can do just that. If you're interested in this product and getting your hands on it uh, and ensuring that you get one, uh, click on one of the links that I've got uh, for the, uh, the product. Uh, not to babble too much, let's uh, go over and open this box and check it out. Okay, so here it is here. This is the smart dew heater and power controller. It's a four times uh, power controller from Celestron. And I haven't opened the box yet, but let's do that and just have a quick look at what we are getting here. So we're just open this up. I'm just gonna cut this tape here. And there we go. Okay. So we got some foam, and some nice white foam. Awesome. And uh, what else do we got here? We got a manual that comes with it, instruction manual that uh, discusses the controller and how to use it. Um, parts list, controller overview, mounting the controller on your setup, powering the controller, connecting to a Celestron mount, using a controller. Now I should point out that you don't have to have a Celestron mount in order to use this. I don't have a Celestron mount. I have a, a Skywatcher EQ6 mount actually so that I'll be using this with in conjunction with powering other devices as well. So um, let's see here. Well, let's have a look at this first. We've got a strap here. This is for uh, strapping the unit onto your tripod leg of your telescope setup. So you can uh, attach that to the control controller and strap it to your tripod leg if, if you want to do that, if that's how you like to do it. Uh, that's included. Um, what else do we got here? We've got a cigarette lighter adapter, power cable. Um, this, is, this, this is a pole connector. So I believe XT60 is what's on this unit here. So this uh, power cable, if you're using this, um, this will give you 20 amps, uh, this power connection, uh, as opposed to the standard 10. Thermostor cable uh, comes with it as well. And what else we got here? We've got, this is the other power cable that comes with it. So that would give you 10 amps using this cable here. And this is an auxiliary aux cable, RJ15 connection. So that is the cables that come with it. Now, the actual unit itself, is get it out here. There we go. I'll just move that box out of the way a little bit and take this out of the bag. All right, so here is the unit. Celestron, four, four times power controller. This is, uh, as I said, is new on the market. Um, you can always check the links below, uh, the links in the description that I provided, uh, which will take you to uh, various uh, telescope retailers that uh, will be selling this unit. 
Um, so it's got, uh, looks like it's got some uh, indicators here for if you're over current, uh, power on off and under voltage that has on the side, and if we look here, we've got dew heater controls. So we've got four dew heater controls and you can get sensors as well that will monitor the dew heaters which will control the uh, um, strength uh, of the, the dew heater, how, how much power is being delivered to it to uh, achieve uh, uh, more dew heating or less dew heating. You've also got your standard 12 volt input here. This is the 10 amp input. And over here is the XT60, the pole connectors, uh, which gives you a 20 amp connection. Uh, on this side of the unit here, we've got power outputs. So there's four power outputs. There's a variable, which allows you to adjust depending on the equipment that you're using, if it needs more or less. Uh, and then you've got standard 12 volt. You've got three standard 12 volt uh, power outputs here using a barrel connector, standard barrel connector. And on this side, we've got our auxiliary inputs, three of them. We've got our USB uh, that goes to the PC, goes to your computer, that connection. And then we've got three USB ports on it, which is uh, gonna be handy for me. I always need some extra ports, it seems. Um, so now, I will probably power this uh, in my situation. I'm going to see. I don't know. I don't know how well it'll work or not. But I want to try and get things up higher on the scope. Try and do some better cable management. So um, I might introduce this unit just to give me some extra connections and extra power uh, that is going to be uh, handy to have. What makes this nice is you can mount this on a dovetail, so you can just adjust for placing this onto you can do it on the underside of your dovetail you can do it on the top uh, whichever way you want to do it and uh, that is a nice handy feature for getting things up and away from the mount and the tripod getting bringing the cables up higher um, so this this could that could be handy for uh, cable management getting this unit situated now my my setup is going to be a little challenging. I don't actually have a lot of room on my dovetails um, to do this, and I don't have a dovetail on top. I might have to alter the setup, uh, my setup slightly, to accommodate a unit like this. Um, but it is great that uh, they've they've uh, incorporated this uh, aspect, uh, being able to mount it to a dovetail um, for those that uh, want to uh, to do that. So. So that is the Celestron, the new Celestron, uh, four times power controller, and uh, it looks like it's a very nicely uh, uh, manufactured unit. It's nice and solid, and uh, it doesn't weigh that much. I'm not sure the exact weight on it, but it doesn't weigh that much. What we are going to do, though, what I'm going to do is I will be getting uh, Brian from KW Telescope, and KW Telescope was. Uh, um, as I may or may not have mentioned, uh, was kind enough to uh, loan me this. Uh, they got some in. Uh, they got, well, I, I think this is actually the first one that they got in, so um, I actually am getting first look at it. They've got more coming, as do other retailers. Uh, they're on their way. And um, they were nice enough, KW Telescope was nice enough to loan this to me. So what I'm planning to do is get the owner of KW Telescope, Brian, uh, to come on my Astro Chat show and uh, an uh, another Astro Chat show that's coming up soon. And uh, he's going to do, uh, discuss this uh, uh, power controller uh, more in that video. And uh, that'll be live streamed. Um, I'm thinking of doing a live stream on that. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you don't have that bell notification hit, you know, best to do it so that you get notified when that live stream happens. And then you can tune in and find out more about this unit here. And I think Brian might have another goodie or two uh, that's new uh, for the, uh, Astro, the Astro market, Astro community, uh, new product that uh, might have something else anyways that uh, we can discuss uh, in addition to this power control. So just to show you real quick, Celestron has a uh, telescope control software which you can download and it, it can work, it can actually control this power controller. 
so you could just want to go to the Celestron website and look up the uh, Celestron uh, PWI telescope control software and you can download it and install it. Once you do, uh, you will get uh, this screen here, which uh, comes up with uh, the uh, unit being connected. Uh, you have specifically what I'm gonna be interested in is controlling the dew heaters and the power um, outputs. So uh, under dew heater option here, we can get an overview, which is what we're looking at on the screen here. And we've got uh, our individual uh, dew heaters shown, and we can uh, set them to uh, manual. Uh, we can set to adjust the uh, the dew heater manually, uh, or we can let it uh, uh, sit at auto and let it auto compensate uh, as needed, uh, depending on the temperature and dew point swings. Uh, below that, below this, you also have uh, the variable voltage power controls. So uh, here's the uh, variable uh, voltage uh, control uh, on off. You can turn it on off and you can adjust it um, up to 12 volts as needed. Uh, you also have uh, the standard 12 volt power outputs and you can control them. Uh, as well uh, off and on um, and uh, as needed. So USB ports, um, if you're using the USB ports on it, you also have control over turning those on or off individually. So that's not bad. Gives you a little bit of an overview here of temperature as well and dew point and humidity and so forth and your current uh, power consumption. I don't have anything plugged into the control unit right now. I just have the unit powered and plugged into the computer, but uh, this is where you'll find all that information and be able to control the uh, various uh, aspects of the, uh, the new uh, Celestron uh, power controller. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you watched this far, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're awesome. And a big shout out to all the new subscribers and all the existing subscribers to the channel. We're almost at 11,000. Let's keep it going. I really appreciate everyone's support. And uh, uh, this year, just a quick note, I put out a post about this, but just a quick note that uh, as of this month, January 2022, it is three years that Visible Dark has been on YouTube uh, providing astrophotography photography information, image processing information, product reviews, and so forth. So um, I'm really happy with how the channel has uh, grown over those years. And I really appreciate everyone who has tuned in, watches the videos and comments and likes and so forth. That all helps the channel grow. Uh, that's fantastic of you to, to do that. And uh, don't forget, if you're buying Astro Gear, click on one of my links, help support the channel. Um, I am an affiliate marketer with some of these companies so I will receive a small commission if you make a purchase that is no cost to you though so nothing to worry about there um, you just have to click the link and uh, make those purchases you can also join membership if you want to support the channel I have the membership now open and you can join on YouTube here if you want to become a member of the visible dark community uh, you can also check out my patreon page as well and all these links are in the description so uh, check them out and really appreciate it don't forget to like and comment on the video and we will see you again real soon so for now take care and clear skies